can I do monster energy? <laughs> Let us begin. So supposedly this drink can actually kill you. Again, I want to footnote that I actually don't like to talk about things that I don't actually know about and I don't know too much about the situation. However, there was a child age 14 who had two cans of monster drink energy and passed away unfortunately. So the child in question did pass away. Uh, they did have some health issues in terms of their heart. And uh, my recommendation is avoid caffeine if you can. You don't necessarily need it. And this is a really, really smart marketing move for Monster Energy. Apparently, they don't really have um, coupons. So you can go to a store and you can get a discount, you know, two for ones, uh, three for six. I don't know. Um, but Monster Energy tends to not have any coupons are on its website it says get real we don't sell coupons it's not likely to be from monster energy itself i suppose it makes them a lot of money um and also demands on their audience to buy the drink i found this quite interesting uh so on the logo itself loads of people online used to think oh my god the logo the m is stands for you know in the hebrew 666 which is a call of the devil however monster the company itself didn't design its logo it outsourced it to a different design agency so they didn't have any intention to make their logo monster energy a symbol or sign for the devil itself, which is, I find interesting, hopefully you do. So not to knock Monster Energy again, however, some of the cans have about 50 grams of sugar per can. And we we know uh, the difference between diabetes and normal amounts of sugar in the blood is, what, less than five grams. So you can imagine 50 grams of sugar <laughs> per can. Most people, when they're drinking the can, will just drain off the whole can. Uh, and drink another one it's not really healthy plus it's often mixed with a bit of alcohol so caffeine alcohol not a really good mix so monster energy and a lot of energy caffeine drinks such as red bull are moving to sponsoring you know uh, extreme sports and sports activities because it creates the opportunity to associate their brand with uh, high intensive activities and sports and i guess if it encourages more people to take up uh, activities, I'm not saying do extreme sports, but encourages younger people to partake in more physical activities, I'm more for it. So I don't really mind the brand per se, um, but I know a lot of people don't really like the company.